Hello, everybody. So welcome to the SIG Network Community SIG. Today is December 7th, and we adhere by the CNCF Code of Conduct, which boils down to just don't be mean. So today, it looks like we have a little bit of an agenda. I think we're going to go ahead and just kick off the triage. So let me open up the first item on the agenda and actually share my screen. I think this is it. Let me know when you can see my screen. Roger, we got you. Yeah. Cool. Lars, do you want to discuss this one? I think this was you, right? Yeah, I, I added one. I promised I would bring it up on the next meeting. Um, it's about um, the environment that... Uh, is specified for all services in the namespace. And this guy has a problem because they obviously have very many of them. So they fill up the environment. So they will have want to have this um, thing as uh, default off. And I believe it's very old and nobody's using it except maybe for the Kubernetes service. But that is always uh, available, even if you set this enable service links to false. Um, so I wonder if we can help him out or just say that you have to um, write a webhook and that's it. So I was just going to go see if I can respond to the issue. The, the standing policy is changing a default like this would be a breaking change and we can't do it. Um, now, yep. I kind of agree with you. I bet almost nobody is using this, but we simply don't have any data to support that. Um, and I'm not even sure what data we would have to support that. Like, how do you tell if somebody's reading an environment variable, right? Um, the only option we have to change this as a default is to rev core v2, right? And anybody who just heard me say that should probably go, oh my God. Um, <laughs> now, I, th I think we should do rev core v2, but that's a bigger issue. Um, we yeah, can that's... do uh, an admission control. So I would not be... Um, I would not be against, I would actually be supportive of somebody writing a built-in admission control for a pod that would flip this. And then anybody who wants to change this default could install that admission controller. Um, the problem here, of course, is if somebody, uh, sorry, no, this, this, is, this is the right polarity. So if somebody set it to true, then we would leave it true. Oh no, we, this is the wrong polarity. We can't tell if somebody set it to true or if we defaulted it to true. So we have to figure out, um, I believe the admission control runs after the webhook, no, sorry, after the defaulting. Um, so putting it as a mission controller would be challenging because we can't tell if the user submitted true or if we defaulted it to true. Um, we could change the defaulting so that it happens in the pods um, prepare for create path. Um, but then we would need to change it to a pointer, which would be a client side breaking change. Ugh, we need to think through this. Um, I, the easy way to change it might be rev core v2 um, or install their own webhook that just forces it to false. Um, the I'll, I'll go respond on this issue um, because it's it's complicated. I wish the answer was easier, um, but it's simply not. Yeah, uh, I you believe I have even referred to Hume's law. What was it? I can't remember. The law that says that uh, <clears throat> if there is something uh, odd, somebody is using it. Yes, Hiram's law, yes. Hiram's law, sorry. It's yes. referred further down, and, and that was about the answer I expected, but I wonder if there was some kind of voluntarily setting in the API server that we could add that. Well, we could we could add an admission controller that unilaterally sets it to 
false um, and doesn't care if you set it to true, we're going to set it to false anyway. Um, I'm not sure that that would be well received um, among other approvers of like API server, um, but there isn't, there simply isn't a great mechanism for detecting whether a Boolean was set because, because it should have been a pointer, but that field predates the convention of using pointer to bool for options, yeah. for optional fields. Yeah. Um, if, if you can please uh, answer yeah, this yeah. And, and then we can just close it and say that, sorry, you have to write a repair book and it's not, shouldn't be too hard. Okay. I will, I'll, I assign this one to myself. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, it'll help if I unmute. Sweet. So I haven't had time to go through the GitHub issues. Has anybody uh, already done that or has something they want to discuss? Or we can just start from the top. Yeah, why don't we just do that? Just see how many we can run through in 10 or 12 minutes. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. Load balancer IP mode for kernel space. Proxy mode. This is about boom. What? Uh, I'm sorry. Mean, is the the somebody reporting that it doesn't work in Windows? But in Windows, we don't even know what's wrong. You're a little muff, hard to hear. I think this is simply a bug report that it's not being set by the Windows kernel space mode. So is somebody from Windows, oh, what's already assigned to Ryan? Is Ryan here? I don't think Ryan's here. Okay. Um, it is assigned. So uh, this was only yesterday. Uh, yeah. Oh, Ryan has opened it himself. Um, it seems like a feature request, which means we should probably triage accept it. Is that right, Antonio? You can just nod if we can't hear you. Did he nod? He did not nod. There is no nod. Not nod. <laughs> He's there. We got a thumbs up. He thumbed up, yeah. Okay. You can triage accept it and move on then. Is it triage dash accept? I can't remember. Slash triage space accept. Space accept. Thank go. Ooh, network policy. Andrew's on it. He just unmuted. Yeah, I um, I'll I'll add the right label to this, and I guess we can go ahead and triage accept it. And you can assign it to me if you want. I'll make sure we touch it. What's your yeah, uh, a stoicus. So we look at us go through these. Up, oh, I can't get to it since the thing is in the way. Give me a second. Oh, what a horrible UI. Okay. One service manages multiple deployment instances. Service uses no port type. Upstream traffic is distributed unevenly through different deployments through yep. node port. I have taken this and I don't think it's a Kubernetes error and I expect some more information. The guy is running 1.17, I believe. Like, oh, okay. So I will follow up on this. Cool, excellent, thank you. I've seen multiple reports over the years of our sort of random choice policy being imperfect. Um, and I don't know what the right fix for that is. Um, but I, I just want to say, I guess I, I've heard it before in that it biases against new instances. Um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's something that if somebody has great ideas, I'd love to hear. Is Dan here? Oh, Dan's not here. All right. Um, this is another one. 
just go ahead and assign it to me. It looks like they want us to add action, explicit actions to network policy, which is something we're all over in uh, network policy API. So I will point them in the right direction. But so for these sort of issues, like Tim, do I just kind of push, push them to our working group and then close them? Or do I keep track of them and leave them open? Like this is like literally a request to add explicit actions to network policy, which will never happen. But we, what we will do for like a developer network policy. Um, yeah, that's probably right. Like uh, network proper network policy classic is almost certainly never going to add. Correct. This. Yeah. So I I'll, I'll almost leave almost certainly because I'm never sure. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe one day. But I think the best course of actions for these sort of like feature requests right now would be like flows come work with us in the this working group like we're doing this okay cool yeah there's so many more things than just those you want right <laughs> log is obvious yeah. and so just leave it yeah sounds good cool where were we is this a sign now minimizing ensuring cube chains and jump rules okay Anybody read through this yet? I guess I could scroll and ask, answer that question. Lars, do you have uh, the story on this? Yeah, and the author is also in the in the meeting, and he can explain it. It's it's like synchronized IPvS proxy with a much better synchronization um, loop that is developed in the IP tables um, proxy. -er. So and yeah, Dan spent, a, Dan spent an enormous amount of time making that sort of as low impact as it could be. Um, given the trend towards the NF tables implementation, um, I wonder, I mean, by all means, look at it. I just wonder how much it's going to be worth um, the effort. If it's easy to steal, go for it. Um, but if it's super complicated, we might just start pointing people at NF tables as the path out of this. And it might be to reclassify it as a feature and, and uh, accept it, if that is okay. It's your area at this point. If you feel like it's a feature request that you want to accept, then uh, by all means. Yeah, I want to accept it. And I, I don't know if um, Daman uh, wants to um, um, work with it, because I will not. <laughs> I. Uh, count on the NF tables proxy here to take over. Yeah, I can, I, uh, I can work on this. Wait. Sounds good. Cool. Apply the node, apply for node will fail in dual stack environment with setting dash s server side true. All right, we already have Antonio and Tim on this one. Is there like a little bit of a backstory for this one? Uh, oh, it's a duplicate. What are we going to, oh. Uh, there's a whole host of apply based issues um, I don't remember exactly which this one is. Uh, Sorry, say again, Antonio? Say again. There, there is some reference to the original one. Okay. It's talking about the keys and collapsing. Okay. It's all of them to work. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Um, yeah, the, the problem here for the recording is we have certain list fields, list of struct fields in particular, where we say the merge key in this case is like includes uh, status address, um, or sorry, the merge key includes type, and then type isn't actually unique within that list. You can have multiple internal IPs. 
the validation, the manually written validation allows it. And then the auto-generated apply validation does not. Um, and so when somebody goes to apply against an object that has already done this, apply fails. So in 29, I think, uh, Antoine has fixed that. So it'll only fail if you're applying and changing the field that has this problem. Um, but like fundamentally, it's not actually a problem. It's that we've lied and said that the merge key is type and it's not. Okay. Are we accepting that one then? If someone sounds like someone's Yeah, you can working. accept it. Is it assigned to me? Yeah, it's yeah, assigned it's... to you and, and to okay. me. I'm hoping to go through and uh, work on a lot of these bugs in the next couple of weeks, which I'll, I'll talk about later. Oh, good. Mike, you got to do triage accepted. Not just accept oh. it won't. Oh. It won't. Accept uh boy. You're good. <laughs> I just noticed it on the one before. I, I I'm going back and uh. fix it. Well, I will fix them. Unless you're already getting them. I appreciate the help on that yeah, one. Yeah, I'll go back. I'll go back. I got it. Good eyes. Good eyes. Where were oh, we cool. now? Flaky test. Flaky test. This time it'll Leaky test package util async test bound it frequency runner retry after. Goody. That sounds like a fun one. Time based tests. Yay. Um, we should probably accept yeah. this. Uh, no, no, no. No? Wait, wait. We need to check because this is a pull request. Uh, assigned to me. The, the, I don't remember this test to be clear. So it, it may be the CI or it may be the test. So yeah, okay. Is to have two or three failures in, in, in 15 days. Then otherwise, if there is one failure in, in one week, sometimes it's CI. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be disappointed if this one's actually flaky. I remember putting a lot of effort into making that test not suck. Uh, the, the ones that are and I don't remember. I will triage once I go to a lab. Oh, and if we're probably good for triaging right now, is I also have to drop, and I think Antonio has the next one. Um, yeah, let's let's move on. Su then. Support for taking over. Our mailing list. Okay. Let's see. Oh. oh, you're already host. Antonio, if you can get closer to your mic, maybe it might be easier to okay. hear. Okay, let, let me. I think that's the Bluetooth. Let me. Okay. Now it's better or not? Yes. Much better. Okay. So for the mailing list. The the spam, so there is there is a lot of spam, and there are two solutions: or we moderate in the, each message, or we just try to allow posting only the the people that is uh, in the mailing list. And I propose and implemented the the second approach: is only the people in the in the mailing list can post to the mailing list. Uh, Based on that, we don't have much traffic, and I didn't see anybody outside of the group posting to the mailing list. We can, if this is a problem, we can go to moderate individual. Uh, anybody thinks that? We should allow posting from external. I mean, it's useful for things like bug reports, um, but if it's if the spam filtering on groups is not taking care of it, then okay. I, I did a quick, a quick check on there is no only one person asked one question about an engineer's ingress, and the rest is our internal communication. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, I haven't seen a bug report there in a long time. That's true. Um, I mostly use the group for like sharing docs and stuff. So you got to be a member anyway. There is 1,000 
no, what did you say in English? 1200. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it makes complete sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Multiply by. Yeah. So there is a lot of people. So I assume that people that's interested should be there. Okay. That sounds all right. Let's 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 do that and then see if anybody really complains. If complains, we, we go to moderate in, individual. Bleh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there is no good solution. That's the basic is, one. <laughs> isn't there a, does, does moderation say like members can post without moderation, but non members need moderation? Uh -huh. I forget how moderation works. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, there are like 10 options, and I saw the, the other one. I, I will check later then. Okay. All right, Antonio, you're the next topic on the list too. Okay, the, the next topic is, I don't know if Max in, is in the... Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is, uh, you all remember, that we talked a lot, a lot about the cluster side that was in three, we discussed it, the, it, it was going to conflict with the service side, we didn't like the UX, and there was concerns that it was going to be an API that was going to be confusing for the user, so we decided to move cluster cider out of three. And in that communication, I, I I suggested that that could be a nice, um, relatively simple project for some new contributor to pick up, create a, an external CRD, and keep the functionality. So Max stepped up and and created a, a repo with a all these CRTs and automated testing and everything. And in addition, people like Arnaud and Cerves, they they reach out to say that they wanted to help with this small project. So the proposal here is just Max to demo the the actual state and to request uh, this to become a SIG network project. So we, we get a repo and we go through API review and we have an official CRD with the same functionality, but in this case, out of three. So the ground is for Max for doing the demo. I think that he had. Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, let me oh. close disable attendee screen sharing. So my I have. Can one can anyone uh, enable sharing to me? Oh, sorry. Yes, give me a moment. Uh, where did it go? Disappears. Max more. Let's make you the co-host. All right, go for it. Okay. Yeah, uh, you should be able to see it. Uh, yep. And so, um, yeah, so I created a cluster, a uh, kind of cluster of three nodes. Let me show you the nodes, uh, which are uh, currently do not have uh, IP assigned and uh, uh, control plane is running, but uh, worker, uh, worker nodes are failing because they complain about CNI um, is not working properly. And if I uh, show you the ports, so KindNet is not working uh, also, and uh, Genesis is not working, nothing is, not, uh, is working, and uh, IP is not assigned also. And here I have the command uh, that will uh, show you the, um, the uh, IPs. So what I am going to do now is uh, I want to create, um, actually, um, let me go back and show you cluster seeder that uh, I already created. And it looks like that. So basically uh, the same uh, the, uh, that it was before. So we have uh, an IP before uh, address and mask. And now what I'm going to do, I want to uh, deploy cluster seeder. 
uh, that I can do with uh, this one. And um, let me open um, the the game, uh, the cluster, and uh, it's not working because now it's working. So uh, the pod is ready, uh, it is running, and it soon should we should soon uh, see the cluster IPs here. Uh, not IPs. And a Okay, um, I don't know why this comment is not working, but we can see that uh, uh, pod seeder uh, uh, was assigned uh, to control plane. And if I open uh, worker node, we have a different IP address here. And if I open the pods, uh, they should be uh, rest restarted. So connect will be restarted soon. Actually, I can do um, it myself. Um, and we will see that all pods will uh, will have the IP, IPs assigned. Yeah. So coordinates is working. Yeah, everything is working now. Uh, that was uh, the short demo. Do you have any questions? No questions? Okay, okay, then how do we proceed from here? What do we need to proceed? We need a, a, a repo, a, a name, that's going to be the most complicated. <laughs> and when we have the repo, we need to do API review to get the official CRD. So we can file a repo request um, and you can tag myself or Antonio uh, as a prover for that. And then the, the GitHub team will create the repo for us. Um, coming up with a name is of course the hard part. Let's call it gateway. <laughs> or, or service. No. <laughs> Policy? No, <laughs> everything's already overloaded. We, we've I'm used all the good network terms. policy API subgroup. Maybe they should do gateway policy service subgroup. How about we call it IP manager? Um, no, I, <laughs> I, I don't know what the right name is. Don't let me name things. That's how you end up with service and gateway. Um, but uh, you know, maybe maybe send an email to the mailing list, which is now on lockdown. Um, soliciting uh, good names for this, like maybe write like a, a blurb, like this is the scope of our effort, right? Like we will do this much and no more. Uh, and then we can argue about names there. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Next on the list is Mr. Stoikos. Yeah, so this is a short one. Um, we had talked a bit about this at KubeCon. Basically, uh, the TLDR is, I probably did the wrong thing when we were releasing some of our first versions of Network Policy API. Um, the way Network Policy API, specifically admin network policy started was with like TEP, um, but then we kind of morphed out a tree into a CRD based kind of uh, thing. Uh, so the API was first written and approved in a PR way back when, um, and since then it hasn't changed too dramatically yet. Um, but I had update, updated the API approved annotation on the CRD when we were releasing to, um, you know, our newer release approve issue approvals rather than that original, uh, API PR that was approved by you, Tim and Dan and others. Um, 
Jordan kind of highlighted this and said that, you know, this is wrong, right? Like you now have, you're releasing CRDs with the a official API approved annotation that wasn't blessed by either Tim or Jordan or some of the other core folks. So my question moving forward is, what do we think is going to be the best way forward? Um, like, do we want to block every release and every core API change in SIG network policy API on like a review from you, Tim? Um, Cause you're the only approver who has that power in our group. Um, or do we want to change kind of how this is done? Um, so the way we've done it in gateway is, is that, um, and except we don't do every single review, although maybe that would be easier. Mm -hmm. um, Rob generally groups up all the API reviews into a pull request and says, here's all the things that have changed between this version and that version. Yep. And then he gets myself, Antonio, Cal, and others to look at it and nitpick at it. And if we're all okay with it, then it's okay. Um, it's a little bit of crowdsourcing, which is super helpful. Um, we are working on training up new API reviewers. If anybody here would like to become an API reviewer writ large for the whole project, please let me know. We'd be happy to include you in that sort of context. Um, but even without being an API reviewer, there's lots of people here who have plenty of experience using and writing Kubernetes APIs so they know what the conventions are so we can crowdsource those reviews. So it's not yep. just bottlenecking on me. Oftentimes it's if the three other people who looked at it are all okay with it, I'm just going to go and approve. Okay. Um, the one difference is Gateway API didn't start doing that until like later. Like they literally went like a couple releases, like V5 or 0 0.5 was like their first yes. one. They started doing that. And, and we were it, like it was, really early. <laughs> so. But it was incredibly painful okay. to then go back and retrofit like API convention and pinions onto that thing that had been released two or three times. I don't know if Rob's here. I think he's in a separate meeting today. Um, but uh, it was incredibly painful to do that API review and then to go for them to go back and apply all those changes. So I think earlier is better in this regard. Okay, sounds good. Um, and thankfully, like from the time that we first merged it to now, most of the changes have been very superficial and like fixes or like validation things, nothing major. Um, but now we have the NPEP process and we're getting close to actually merging fairly significant features. So what I'd like to do then, I guess, is tag you all on the API changes that are related to NPEP. So we'll do it on like an enhancement basis. Each enhancement okay. you have to plus one the API changes specifically. Um, because we do the enhancements in a tiered process, right? We do user stories first and then API design second. Um, so I figure if we just get your LGTMs on the API design, you let the community kind of decide on the use cases and we go from there, or do you want to be? No, it, that, it, that seems, that seems reasonable. I mean, what happens a lot with gateway is they say, well, this, we, we wrote a gap and everybody was okay with the gap and here's what the API looks like. And then I go, but I don't buy that. Right. Okay. More often than not, it's okay. I, I agree. Um, or I trust you, but occasionally you see something and you go, eh, that one doesn't smell right. I'm like, so that seems okay. I just try to get okay. myself out of the loop. It's not that I don't care, but- no, 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 I don't want to spend, my whole thing is I want to involve all you folks who are super busy with other stuff where we really need you. So that's all I was trying to figure out today. Um, and I think I'll start with the NPEP stuff. And then obviously before we release, we'll do the same thing as Gateway. And you'll have to, you, I think you're right now, like you said, the only one who can actually apply that label technically based on the approver file. So- Yes. You just will have to sign off on our, each of our uh, release issues. That's okay. fine. And I give you permission here on the record to pester me. I will pester you. Don't worry about that. I know um, you will. And I'll, I think specifically this applies to like Dan and you, because both of you have been very involved like from day one. But if there's anyone else on the call like that wants to be more involved in the API review for network policy, like please let me know. Um, my goal overall is that we don't get super hung up and that all the contributors who are working on NPEPs don't like get stuck on that for like months. Yeah, agreed. That's agreed. my only goal. My, my big goal in a lot of this like sub project ownership stuff is to recognize the people who are doing the real work and to get myself out of the hot path as much as possible. Um, because truthfully, despite our best efforts, we are still over constrained on yeah. uh, API review bandwidth. So well, I was not, hoping- I was hoping that 
you would be able to give a lot of that burden to Dan, who has already signed up for it because he's a maintainer of and I'm, the project. I'm happy to. Dan knows the APIs really well. He knows the convention. Yeah. Um, I'm 100% confident that we will agree 90% of the time. Um, and uh, and so okay. if he's willing to take on some of that, then we can you know continue to train up people, right? Like Cal, I don't know if you're here, but like your input on the gateway stuff has been invaluable. Um, like, I would love to get more crowdsourcing of this. Perfect. Okay. I'll try to codify some of what we talked about today. Um, you are now going to be getting a few additional things. Because so. <laughs> I, you know, the to. truth is I was, my email box has been so empty. I've been just missing people at assigning me issues. No worries. It's fine. Um, okay. Uh, that is the end of our agenda for today. Um, I wanted to propose our next meeting uh, is ostensibly December 21st. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be on holidays uh, at that point. Propose to cancel the 21st meeting and resume in January. Any objections? Works for me. Okay. Uh all right, let's consider the 21st canceled. I will uh, send a note and we'll see you all in January. Anybody have any last questions or topics they wanna to bring up? Just so I don't okay. have to annoy you, go LGTM that PR that's linked in the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw it, if it's assigned to me, I will get it in my queue. If it's not assigned to me, I will totally miss it. Um, okay. Uh, I had one more thing I was going to say. Uh, oh yeah. Um, as the one thirty cap window begins to open, let's start raising issues on which caps we want to really, really get into um, thirty, and which PRs we really want to emphasize. Um, I know a bunch again missed the boat for twenty nine. Let's try to get those as early as we can. So maybe in our first January meeting, we'll uh, run through open caps. Excellent. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a happy holidays. Happy New Year. We'll see you on the other side. Likewise. Take care. Thanks. Have a good one, everyone. Oh, sorry. One quick update. Enable service links is a pointer to bool field, so we can actually be somewhat smarter. Yay. I'll go respond to that issue. All right. Thanks.